now we will discuss about some important questions of propagation of sound waves what is sound and how it is produced sound is a form of energy that produces the sensation of hearing in our ears sound is basically produced when a body vibrates what causes sound sound is caused due to the vibration of the body if there is no atmosphere on the moon can you hear each other on the moon surface no because there is no material medium present in it state three characteristics of medium required for the propagation of sound the three characteristics that are required for the propagation of sound are the medium must be elastic so that its particles may come back to their initial position after displacement of either side next the medium must have inertia so that its particles may store mechanical energy the third one the medium should be frictionless so that there is no loss of energy in propagation of sound through it next what are the different types of waves forms the two types of waves are longitudinal wave and transverse wave now what is longitudinal wave in which medium solid liquid or gas can it be produced the wave in which the particles of the medium vibrate about their mean position in the direction of propagation of sound is called a longitudinal wave such a wave can be produced in solid liquids as well as in gas now what is a transverse wave in which medium that is solid liquid or gas can it be produced the wave in which the particle of the medium vibrates about their mean position in the direction perpendicular to the wave is called a transverse wave such a wave can be produced in solid and on the surface of the liquid next define the terms amplitude of the wave what is its si unit the maximum displacement on one side of the mean position of the particle of the medium is called the amplitude of the wave and its si unit is meter then what do you mean by the term frequency of a wave state its si unit the number of vibration made by the particle of the medium in one second is called the frequency of the wave its si unit is second to the power minus 1 that is per second or hertz now how is the frequency of wave related to the time period to know that at first we have to know what is time period what is time period the time required for a complete oscillation or vibration is known as time period now how is the frequency of a wave related to the time period the frequency of the wave is equal to the reciprocal of its time period that is we can say v equals to 1 by f next define the term wave velocity write its si unit the distance traveled by wave in 1 second is called its wave velocity and its si unit is meter per second how the wave velocity frequency and wavelength of a wave related we know the relation v equals to n lambda where v stands for the wave velocity n stands for the frequency and lambda stands for the wavelength now how does the speed of sound change with the change in amplitude and wavelength the speed of sound is independent of amplitude and wavelength hence there is no change
in which medium speed of sound is more humid air or dry air the speed of sound in humid air is more because the density is less than the dry air